Okay. All right. Um, the next poem I'm going to do is my very, very first poem I ever wrote about three years ago, and I did it at a cafe in Vancouver to um, voice my opinion to the lesbian community of why won't you be my friend? And it was, I was going to go there and make them all mad and say, fuck you, I don't care if you don't like me. And then they all wound up totally loving me. So it was, it was kind of an ironic situation. But anyways, here we go. <laughs> I am not straight. With or without the eight. I'm not just kinky. I'm not bi or curious. No, we cannot have a threesome. I've never been tired of boys, and I'm not just a college girl gone wild, <laughs> but I'm not gay, because Rosie is gay, Ellen is gay, Richard, that guy on Survivor, he is gay, I'm just as cranky as everyone else. Yeah, I have ex-boyfriends, but I also used to think that Martha Stewart was a good person. I'm not a hippie, a vegetarian, a cat person, or a poet. I just like to make it rhyme when I complain. I love books, velvet push-up bras, purple tea, the color paint, camouflage, and home repair. Never will any man have me, hold me, take me, tame me, break me, claim me, save me, shame me, or try to motherfucking contain me. When I'm married, her name will be Tara, Andrea, Marissa, Aaron, Kyle, Jason, or Evan. I'm one of them queers. I'm a dyke, I'm a femme, and I'm a natural-born bag hag who hates tofu and sushi, and beer, but I always carry granola in my backpack. I don't wear lipstick. I don't spell woman with a Y. Woman, Wyman, what the fuck ever. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard Indigo Girls lyrics to pick my life story on several occasions. I'm not a slut, I'm not easy to take to bed, but I am worth a try. <laughs> I'm not a mechanic, a truck driver, a librarian, a PE teacher, or a dominatrix. I'm a waitress, a writer, a microserve, a loner, a dit, a party kid, a Buddhist, and a gender fuck enthusiast. I'm not a lesbo. I don't have a motorcycle or a fanny pack or a sing songy voice. <laughs> I am hopelessly, incurably, submissively, pathetically fucked up in love with Ellen DeGeneres and those cute little dances she does. <laughs> I learned how to be a tomboy and Christian skater punk kids. I am on a spiritual journey and yeah, I was watching you in the locker room after gym class. I don't have bush hair. I will check out any and every girl with bush hair. I can suck a silicone cock better than Paris Hilton at a leather bar. I am Jessie's girl. I'm a pride princess who puts a rainbow sticker on everything she owns. I embrace my queerness and put myself on a pedestal because of it. And this is my own shallow liberation, my self-loathing condemnation. I don't live on commercial drive. I've only been there a couple times. I've never U-hauled. I've learned that the scene is there is no scene. I'm growing tired of the assumptions of others. I'm not like you, you're not like me or each other, and none of us is like them, whoever they are. I'm me, a couple of label contradictions absolutely not stereotypical, making me virtually invisible until now.